Hi everyone, I just wanted to show really quickly a notebook that I had altered on the inside using um, my We Are Memory Keepers cinch. I've had this tool for a long time and I'll insert a picture of it right here. So that's the cinch and I've had it for a number of years and many times I used it to make a notebook similar to this. I did not make this cover. I bought this actual notebook at Target for like $8 um, and I just loved the cover, cover the way it was and I didn't want to change that but the inside is just a regular notebook so there were certain things I wanted to add so I went ahead and did that. So here there's a convention we're going to and just for all of you who haven't been yet there are no spoilers in here I haven't been yet um, this is just my setup before I go to the convention. So what I did with the cinch was I um, punched holes in this and the cinch's measurements match the same of most of the standard coils that are sold in the stores. So I just punch the holes and then I cut slits into the center of each hole and now those fit in here and I can have the invitation actually right here within the book and I can flip it easily. I'm also going to do the same thing to the program after I get that at the convention. Now many times at these conventions I'll run into people that I haven't seen in a long time and I don't have their phone number or their email address. So this card right here pops out as well and I'm actually going to just carry this with me in my purse during intermission and if there's some that I meet up with I can have them write their phone number and their email address here on the back of this little Project Life card that I just punched a few holes in it. This is from the Heidi Swap um, mini kit, the gold foil kit. So I put that in here. Then for each day, we're often told to highlight a few points that we want to remember and we want to apply in our lives each day. So this is also from the Heidi Swap uh, Project Life mini kit as well, the gold foil one and it says noted so I just punched a few holes in that and stuck it in here. Then I took some of the main talks or the beginnings of the symposiums and I did washi tape on the edge of the paper um, for the beginnings of those. So I just kind of spaced out some pages of how many pages I think it'll take for me to um, cover that particular subject. So all of Friday I marked in here and those are the green and white. So when I look on the edge, I'll be able to see the green and white. Now for the other days, for Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to be doing other colors and I'll, I'll add those later. Um, this one, just because of the name of the title that was already in the program that was online, so I went ahead and I had a Project Life card that had notes on it. I think this is from the Maggie Holmes uh, Flea Market collection. So I put that in here. Um, let's see, which other ones? Oh, then back here, I thought this little vintage camera card matched really cute since the front has the vintage typewriter. Um, what I was wanting to do was I enjoyed my setup last year for the International Convention where I had all my photos and all of my notes, everything in one um, Fodori that I had made. So I'm kind of going with the same theme this year, but just a little simpler. So I added the Maggie Holmes Project Life card right here and some washi tape with cameras. And I skipped a few sheets so that I have plenty of room to add my convention photos in here as well. This one is gold foil as well from Heidi Swap. It says time flies. Many times we'll run into friends that we haven't seen for a number of years. So those types of pictures I thought I could put on this card or right after it. I found another one of those gold foil cards. This would be a good one for Saturday to write the main points that I loved from that day. I found another camera Project Life card. I think this is again, I think also from Flea Market edition from Maggie Holmes. Um, so again, I thought that would be good for photos on Saturday. Oh, I'm sorry, that's for Sunday. Well, maybe that's Saturday. 
I think I still have one more camera one to add in here. Yeah, I think I still have to pick one out for Sunday. And then this was another cute card. It says, love this. And I try to disperse these cards in different areas so I don't get bulk like all at the top of the notebook. So this one I put at the bottom. And it's, um, again, just something I can write main points on for Sunday. So that's my setup so far. Um, I didn't want to do any spoilers, so this is before I have gone, but I wanted to um, show my friends what I was talking about. I had seen um, another girl here on YouTube, and she does her planner this way. Like She um, prints out June, July, August on craft paper and, then, and washi tape, and then she punches holes and puts it in. So it fits really well if you add a whole bunch of cards like I did you may need to take some papers out from your notebook so I think I removed about 10 pages and it closes like it normally would when I first got it so that's how you can kind of alter the inside of an existing spiral notebook that you just find at Target or Walmart and I hope you can find many other uses for this for your day-to-day -day use thanks for watching